This is like when Iron Man and the Hulk, you know, they're on the same side, but they end up getting into fights all the yeah. time. If I were to try and make this even no, more No, my mother's name is Martha! <laughs> Martha! Hey guys, I'm Pamela Horton, and today for Playboy Arcade, we're joined by Jonah Ray. Jonah, thank you for joining us, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, people might know me from a podcast I do called The Nerdist, or from a Comedy Central show I do called The Meltdown with Jonah Kumel, or from a fake travel show I do called Hidden America with Jonah Ray, or as the upcoming host of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh, how do you have time to be here? I don't. This is a hologram. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually a really big fan of Mystery Science Theater. How does it feel to have the torch passed off to you? It feels weird. I try not to think about it too much, as uh, I'll start to cry. It honestly feels like I got hit in the head at the age of uh, 14, and this is all just a simulation. Uh -huh. It's a literal dream come true. Let's just put it that way. First Hollywood meeting I ever had, it was in 2003, and I pitched uh, to this room full of people. They said, what kind of show would you want to do? And I said, I want to do Mystery Science Theater 3000, and I want to be the host. Lo and behold, 13 years later, nostalgia is a hot commodity in this city, so. That's a dream come true. Yeah. It's Playboy Arcade, and we had you pick a game, and you chose Rampage. Why did you choose Rampage? I grew up in Hawaii, where there was a lot of like Asian people. You know, I was always taller and bigger than everyone else I knew. So the fact that I was just like a big person <laughs> with all these little people, kind of maybe I was able to connect with yeah. the wolf man or the ape a little bit more. Uh, but also I think it might have been Lizzie, the lizard, mm -hmm. um, when she shrinks down and becomes human again, that might have been the first naked lady I'd ever seen in my life. <gasps> you mean your first naked lady wasn't a Playboy? No, first time I saw a Playboy, um, it might have been at a friend's house, like a friend's dad or something like that. But like most guys, we somehow found a bag of it uh, next to a dumpster <laughs> or in the woods, you know, and we always just assumed it was a dad that got caught. Rampage to me is just fun. It's it's a way to take out aggression. I didn't play sports, obviously, but you know, I do appreciate the idea of getting aggression out. And then doing this, you're just bashing up buildings and stomping on people. Okay, no well then way. let's let's get some aggression out. Who's your go-to character? Usually it's Ralph. Okay. Because like werewolves, San Francisco, it's asking for it. Oh, no, so it's so tricky away. and specific how to get up on them. I'm sorry, lady. Get her, eat her. Ah, uh, nom nom. I have to ask you, PC or console? I was always a console guy, but I always was really bad at picking consoles. So I was just like everybody else. I got Nintendo. Okay. Nintendo was great. This is the last decent decision I made. <laughs> uh, so the handheld stuff came out. Everyone's getting Game Boys. All of a sudden I hear about the Atari Lynx. It's a color screen. So I, I go, I want that one. They made about 12 games and then just shut it down. Yeah. The console started coming out. Everyone was getting PlayStation. I said, no, no, not me. I'm getting a Panasonic 3DO. <laughs> Once again, they made about five games, and then they just kind of shut it down. And then I said, all right, one last shot. Everyone's kind of going up for the next the next big thing. Everyone's getting N64, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I got a Sega Saturn. Aww. And again, I think they made two games and, and shut it down. But one of those games was Virtual Cop, which was one of the best games. And so, yeah, I had a bad run of consoles. Did you actually enjoy any of these games, or was it just limiting because you had so few games to play? When you're a kid, you, you take what you can get, pretty much. So I had a friend with a N64, and we hated him. <laughs> we hated him so much, but we would still go over to his house just to play Goldeneye. The closest arcade to me was in the next town over in the town of Kaneohe. And it was at a mall and it was called Tilt. There would always be like the bully kids that still hung out in Hawaii you would always get the guy going like, oh brother, I like one quarter. And then you go, oh, I don't have any. And then uh, if they continue to ask, they would say, ah, don't believe you, search take. So the whole thing was if you didn't give them one quarter, they would search your pockets and they would take whatever you had. How's that even legal? Oh, it's not legal. It's completely illegal. <laughs> yeah, but that's just kids, huh? Yeah, uh, kids. kids. Thinking back when like nerds weren't cool, did you think that at any point you would make a career doing what you do right now? No, I don't know. Uh, it's funny because I never felt any shame for any of the things I liked. I always thought that anything I liked was cool because it was. And I, that might be a product of coming of age in a, in a punk rock scene where it's a subculture and it is the coolest thing in the world to you and those involved. So if people don't know it, it actually makes it better. So when I was wearing like a Mystery Science Theater shirt to school or a Weird Al shirt to school and people would say something about it, I would just kind of go, you don't know. So to me, I thought they were uncool. It's another aspect of this game that's interesting is that you are essentially the villain. We're just destroying cities. This has green hospital doors, so I, I'm assuming that's a dispensary. We're tag teaming it. We're also beating <laughs> each other up. There oh I no, go. There you turned into a man baby. See, then I'm just hiding my shame. Here, I'll punch you out and then okay. uh, you'll, there you go. Oh, now, naked lady. Submit it for your approval. Yeah. And naked. then that, that's oh, what I do to things I love. Oh no. 
Thank you, Jonah Ray, for coming to visit us at Playboy Arcade. You have a lot of stuff that you have going on. Uh, Meltdown is one of the most recent things coming out. If people want to check that out, where can they go? On Comedy Central this fall, third season of The Meltdown with Jonah Kamel. <laughs> cool,